The Learner Active Technology Infused, or LADI Classroom, is a teaching philosophy that puts students in charge of their educational experience. Each Authentic Learning Unit, or ALU, poses an open-ended problem for students to solve using collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. In the LADI Classroom environment, the teacher uses 10 principles of focus to create each authentic learning unit. They are learning from a felt need, high academic standards, focus on higher order, open-ended problem solving, student responsibility, collaboration, connected learning, high social capital, technology infusion, global citizenship, and individual learning path. ALUs are typically divided into two phases, process and product wherein students actively seek information through a teacher scaffolded process and use that knowledge to create a product which attempts to solve a problem. Teachers utilize structures and strategies to scaffold and create routines in the classroom. This ensures that students have access to resources and information at a moment's notice so as to not disrupt the flow of learning in the classroom. The following video depicts a LADI classroom which employs many but not all possible structures and strategies. It is intended to highlight routines embedded within the classroom which are subtle but integral to the learning process in this environment. Right, ladies and gentlemen, what I need you to do now is open up your lab notebooks to your rubric. The self-evaluative rubric ensures that students are frequently checking in on themselves. This rubric rewords unit objectives, skills, and standards in a way that students can check off and level up as they work through the content in the LADI classroom. Asking students to reflect on their learning and being honest with themselves reinforces the efficacy of the program and that they are the ones in charge of their learning. Just like that. All right, please take a minute, look at your rubrics. All right, we're updating today with uh, heart, just to show that we care. You're looking for your rubric to see an improvement, progress, updates, right? You're internalizing your progress in this class, right? How are you doing? Are you understanding more and more as you go through these activities? Are you sort of at a Steady plateau. This is an internalization of how you're doing, a reflection. So look at your activity list. In the LADI classroom, activity lists are a structure wherein teachers devise a series of differentiated activities to be completed independently, in pairs or small groups, which, when followed, provides experience with the content and skills needed to be equipped to solve the authentic problem. These lists can be given to students as daily, weekly, or entire unit tasks. Students check off activities as they are completed in order to bolster time management and long-term planning skills. Right, that's all the way at the front of your lab notebook. Take a look at your list. If you need to, check off activities you've completed should actually be doing that at the end of every class, or you should be doing it as you finish an activity, but the way that it's going to be today, just to make sure. This will help when scheduling and also the class today. At 9.30, there will be a small group mini lesson right up here. At any point during the class, the teacher may identify students who are struggling with a concept. When necessary, the teacher will announce to the class a time and a place to sign up for a mini lesson. Because the classroom expectation is that students have a plan for the day, directions and resources at their disposal, and strategies in place to seek help when needed, the teacher can sit privately with a group of students and provide guidance in a smaller, customized Grab lesson. Chair, we'll come around, have a little circle talk. Okay, the focus of the topic is variables. Okay. So if you're still a little shaky on how to identify independent, dependent variables, control variables, right, bring your homework from last week and bring your homework that's due tomorrow. And we'll sit and chat about it. 
Let's report to your activities for today. As part of the process of taking ownership of their learning, students schedule their time in a classroom for any given day at the end of class on the previous day. The video demonstrates students looking at schedules made the day before and immediately seeking the learning center where their first activity takes place. Once students arrive at their scheduled activity, a how-to sheet is waiting to provide instructions and guidance. They, along with other students at the same activity, quickly determine what to do and how to work with one another to accomplish a task. As students begin to grapple with the tasks they are scheduled for, the teacher will often walk around with a facilitation grid. This artifact is a data table set up with student names and performance indicators. The teacher observes passively or engages with students directly in conversation to check for understanding throughout the learning process. Paperwork, support texts, office supplies, and other valuable tangible items are placed in a centralized location called the resource table for easy access. In this classroom, it can be located under the projection screen. That's this. That just basically means it's over. It's past you. Which way turn it In the real world, skills are rarely used in isolation, but rather synthesized into a larger performance. Problem-based tasks ask students to apply knowledge that has been acquired over a learning unit to a high-level summative assessment. This assessment is typically an open-ended problem wherein students create a product that makes a difference in the lives of others or brings awareness to an issue. The problem showcased in this ALU asks students to synthesize their knowledge of the process of scientific thought and parachutes gained during their time with the activity list in order to gather data to be sent to world record holder Felix Baumgartner for consideration during his next jump. While engaged in the problem-based task or any collaborative work in the Laddie classroom, the Great Student Rubric is a tool for groups to self-monitor their productivity.
Thank you for taking the time to learn about Nyack Public Schools' approach to 21st century learning. Should you have any questions about this presentation or the Laddie Classroom, please contact a school building administrator who will put you in touch with one of our Laddie teacher